Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. Here, this question is asking to find out the volume when we rotate this re region around y axis. Now, let's go ahead and draw the graph of this region first. Here, we have y is equal to x square. This is going to be a parabola, right? So, this is going to be a parabola opening up because this is positive and also this is there's no addition or subtraction so this is going to start from the origin if you draw the graph this is going to look like this right now the next equation is y is equal to x that's going to be a straight line also in this one we don't have any addition or subtraction so this line is going to go through origin and this is going to go like this right and the question is asking to find out what's going to be the volume if we rotate this region around y-axis so we are rotating this one around y-axis and uh, the question is asking to find the volume of this region now let's see how we can find it so in this case to find this one out we can use cross section method cylindrical shell method so if you use cylindrical shell method the volume equation is going to be this that is pi integration a to b radi radius out square minus radius in square dy if you rotate this one around y axis that's going to be dy if you rotate this one around x axis this is going to be dx so that's the difference this one change according to the rotating region i mean rotating axis now let's go ahead and find the limits of integration first we know that this is starting from here this region is starting from here and ending here right and if they say rotating around y axis we have to know where is starting in the y axis and where is ending in y axis so we have to know this point right here that's going to be the limits of integration and we know that this is starting from zero because both of them are passing through origin and both of them are touching at origin so starting at zero and we have to know what is going to be this this I mean this location to find the drawn out what we do is we equate both of them but here the thing is we had to before we equate this one we have to change this one in terms of x we have to find this y values I mean in terms of y we have to find the x value in terms of y because this is we are dealing with the rotating around y axis so we have to find out what is going to be the x is equal to in the first one we know that y is equal to x square so x is going to be equal to root y right if i take square root both sides that's going to be x is equal to root y and other one y is equal to x so x is going to be equal to y so we don't have to change anything in this one now in this case we have to equate these two root y and y that's going to be that's going to give us the these two locations so root y equal to y and if we square both sides this will be y is equal to y square and if we solve this one, if you bring both into one side, this is going to be y minus y square is equal to 0. And then we can take y common. If you take y common, this is going to be 1 minus y is equal to 0. From this one, we know this is going to be 0 and this is going to be equal to 1. So the this is going to be 1. We know 0 already. This is 0 and 0 to 1. So the limits of integration is going to be 0 to 1. Now how to find radius out to find the outside radius what we do is we throw an arrow from the rotating axis here the rotating arrow axis is this one y axis right so we have to draw an arrow from y axis and wherever the arrow touches last that's going to be the outer radius and we know that this this uh, this curve is y is equal to x square but we need this one in terms of x, in terms of y, because we are solving in terms of dy. So we have to put x is equal to root y equation. And then straight line, that's going to be x is equal to y. So here we are going to plug this one. And the inner radius, wherever the, if you draw an arrow and wherever it touches first, that's going to be the inner radius. Outer radius is x is equal to root y. Inner radius is going to be x is equal to y. And now we have all the information. All we have to do is do the integration. So this is going to be phi integration going from 0 to 1. Outer radius is 
x is equal to root y so root y is going to be the value we are going to put right here so this is going to be right root y square minus y square dy and if you simplify this one this is going to be phi integral 0 to 1 y minus y square dy right and if we integrate this one that's going to give us y square divided by 2 this is y square divided by 2 minus y cube divided by 3 going from 0 to 1 now let's plug 1 if we plug 1 for this one this is going to be 1 square divided by 2 minus 1 cube divided by 3 and if we plug 0 for this one 0 square is going to be 0 over 2 that's going to be 0 0 cube over 3 that's going to be 0 so this whole thing is going to be 0 0 times 5 is going to be 0 so this is going to be 0 so it's not going to change anything now all you have to do is just simplify this one and find the final value let's continue this one here here we are going to have 5 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 and if we take the common denominator that's going to be 6 right and here we are going to have 3 minus 2 and if we solve for this one 5 times 1 over 6 and that's going to be our final answer so the volume of the region when we rotate volume of this rotating region is going to be 1 over 6 pi and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time